Hi everyone, how are you? My name is Marla. I'm a certified paralegal. I sh really should be a lawyer um, because I have way more knowledge and experience and, and I have studied the law um, much, much more than mo the average paralegal. Um, I also really enjoy research and analysis and argumentation. Um, but because I'm not a lawyer, um, I really enjoy educating others on the law, um, but because I'm not a lawyer and I have, I'm limited in what I can do, um, I can use other people's books as a fair use to educate you guys on certain areas of law and maybe inspire you to go get the book. Um, I don't make any kind of commission on um, sharing my knowledge, um, but I really do believe that people should know and understand law and politics and how things work in America. So today I wanted to talk about the subject matter, creative expression. And why do I want to talk about creative expression? It's because no matter how humble crude or obvious copyright law um, is an area that creators on YouTube are delving into and should know a little bit about um, the subject matter so it used to be that um, copyright law only applied to maps books and charts but in today's world uh, copyright law really has grown um, and now reaches every area of creative endeavor. Um, so without further ado, um, let me talk about some... Okay, so what I want to talk about, what qualifies as works of authorship, what it takes to meet the originality requirement, and when work is fixed, triggering copyright protection. Uh, copyright is a statutory area of law uh, enacted by Congress and signed by the president after much, much lobbying by interested parties such as publishers and entertainment companies. The Copyright Act creates copyrights for authors. So this area of law is a man-made law you you it is not an absolute right that you have to make um to create things you do not have an inalienable right um to creation um only god has a, an inalienable only god has a real right in anything that's created in the earth um and in the universe um, he is the ultimate creator, and actually, you could play a hypothetical with God, <laughs> because he is the ultimate creator, and uh, he is really original. Um, <laughs> so, without further ado, I do not want to delve into uh, too much into that area, but the area that uh, we will look at is um, to register the order to hold to hold copyright and benefit from a set of exclusive right, it provides a copyright holder under Section 106 of the Copyright Act. She, uh, people possess the exclusive right, people here on YouTube possess the exclusive right to reproduce the copyright work to copies or photo records, providing that it's, um, it, uh, they have done it themselves. Uh, they have the exclusive right to it. Um, they can pre prepare derivative works based on copyrighted work. Um, this is called adaptation right. Um, when you reproduce the copyright, it's called uh, reproductive right or the right to make copies. Uh, you also have a di the right to distribute copies or phono records of the copyrighted work to the public by sale or other transfer of ownership um, that is called a public distribution right uh, perform the copyright 
protected work publicly that is called public performance right and display the copyrighted work publicly um that is called public display right um so people may not infringe on uh others copyright by doing such things as the following things uh, without permission you cannot make or sell copies of a novel copying creative elements of the novel into another book making a movie based on a novel publicly performing a scene from the novel downloading the text of the novel so but they might also be protected by various limitations to uh the the rights of the copy holders um uh creative expression so we're going to talk a little bit about that limitations that limitations usually um certain elements of the work would not be protected by copyright such as ideas uh, such as plots or novel of the novel elements not created by the authors like facts about um a certain a city uh, that that is put in the book um elements not created uh, so and functional elements um issues with most novels so other authors may freely copy a clever idea for a novel or facts uncovered through research or rules on an accounting system moreover even copyrighted elements may be used under such limitations as fair use fair use might permit writing and selling an unauthorized parody of a novel or some work um, or handing out photocopies of a chapter for a class or including portions of a book review um, so exclusive rights give the author control over several types of commercial uses of work in the u.s printing and selling the novel selling chapters online uh, performing the work ex executive 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 ex ex etc <laughs> sorry and some sometimes i'm reading and it's like bleh, bleh. okay um you can uh, the author also controls uh subjects to subject to fair use and the non-protection of ideas um how the work is adapted into the form into other forms such as sequels translations and other offshoots so the basket of exclusive right allows the author not just to exploit the work commercially but also to control the public life to a limited extent so to a limited extent um the author cannot dictate how critics review it or whether the public pay attention to it um an author can control the artistic uses of the work so if it's original if it's artistic the author can control it uh, such by licensing performance or a play subject to restrictions you cannot change the ending or stage it as a parody uh so that's some of the things that the author can um put limits on copyright also can be used to prevent dissemination of a work um an author may prevent a work from being published such as unfinished novel or diary which can protect artistic value and even privacy interests but the hazard exist that authors will use copyright to censure or to limit the flow of information such as by claiming copyright in emails discussing important issues or even in a cease and desist letter threatening a lawsuit copyright law must must often balance incentives to authors and protections of authors artistic creation against legitimate expressive interests of others um, an author may sue an infringer in federal court 
um, and the remedies and that author may get remedies like damages and injunctions and uh, impoundment of infringement of copies.